We just got this story from our affiliate in Davenport, Iowa. They seek to serve women in their community every day by providing free resources to women no matter what. Julie lives near a stork bus parking site. She came onto the bus without any idea how far along she might be. At 19, Julie was already post-abortive. She told the nurse on board how traumatized she was by her first surgical abortion and how she constantly thinks about her decision with regret. Trying to encourage her, the nurse turned the conversation to hope explaining how even the bleakest situations can be redeemed by grace. At that point, Julie turned her forearms to reveal her scars. She had attempted suicide last year after her abortion, unable to handle the guilt and the trauma. And she still was struggling with that depression. See, as soon as the father of this baby learned about her pregnancy, he moved away and wouldn't communicate with her at all. So she felt so alone. But on the stork bus, Julie experienced love and compassion. She got to meet her little 17-week-old baby on the ultrasound machine. Seeing her little child dance on the screen created so much excitement in her heart to dance with that little baby throughout the years to come. Though an unborn life saved is always a reason to rejoice, that day, the mobile team in Iowa was first and foremost able to care for a broken and hurting young woman and offer her steps towards healing healing her immense hurt. This is what it means to be pro-life. We do all that we can to foster a thriving life for every mom we meet.